guys, so today I'm going to be filming a stationery haul for you all. Um, I absolutely love stationery, it's one of my favourite things to buy, especially when I, even when I was going back to school. And now I'm going back to university, so it's a similar situation. You don't really change up your stationery kind of habits uh, when you're changing kind of different education, it's pretty much the same. Cute pens, cute highlighters, notepads sorted. Um, so today I'm going to be filming a stationery haul, and this is a collab with Sydney Patricia over on YouTube. Um, I will link her kind of link down below, and I'll put kind of the link to the video here. Um, but yeah, seriously, she's so lovely. She's the loveliest girl. She does absolutely fantastic videos. So definitely go and check out her video. She's doing kind of a back to school essentials video. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to be doing the stationery haul part of the video. Um, so yeah, I hope you really enjoy it, and hope you like enjoy all little cute things that I've brought. Let's get the most boring thing out of the way first. 50 kind of ballpoint pens in black. These are from Tesco. These are only £2.25. How crazy is that? So cheap for 50 pens. Like there's so many in here. And these are actually my favourite type of pen. Um, they're kind of like a round, like a thicker nib rather than a really really thin nib um at the top and they're just really nice they write really smoothly i really really like these very very boring but very essential then the second most boring thing <laughs> let's get these out of the way first are some record cards this is what these look like and um, it's a hundred pack of them and i love these they're just kind of like lined cards they're fab for revision i always say when anybody asks me for any revision tips i always say just buy some of these and write your kind of like tips and like things on these for whatever exam you're doing. Um, they're great for exams just to write kind of each subject on the back in really like a small amount of words and then kind of flick to them and revise from these. Fantastic idea and really, really like them. Um, I do also order some online that are a bit bigger and you can get them that like different colours and stuff. That's what I had last year. And one little tip that most people don't do and I don't do either, but a tip that is very, very good to do is to write the cards as you go through the year. Um, so kind of you start from the start of the year, um, kind of in September and each topic you go through, you write a card for. Rather than getting to kind of like May time, um, and you're starting to revise and you write like, 100 cards because you didn't do it throughout the year that's me and that's the majority of people but if you can get into a routine of doing it kind of as you go through then it is the best idea i did actually do that in a level and it worked really really well for me um but just last year i didn't do it but <laughs> yeah i would really really recommend doing now, that i'm going back to university and so i have four units in my course throughout the year so i have got four different colored kind of plastic wallets i'm going to use these for sheets um when you're at uni you get given so many sheets or that's what I got given anyway last year just a ridiculous amount like here's this balance sheet here's this this just like everything you're like this and you're like where else is to put these so I've got four different colored folders for each subject I'm gonna write each different subject on them and use them just for the sheets that are given in the classes um so they're all kind of tucked away in the nice folders I really like these colors as well I thought they were really unusual they're not your plain red blue green yellow um, it's like a nice yellow it's like a mustardy yellow I've got a white I've never actually seen a white plastic folder before a bright pink and a purple these are from Asda they're from the brand Elba uh, but yeah really like these really nice good quality great little wallet. Now my next thing I'm very excited about, it's a whiteboard and look how cute and small this is. This is from Asda and I'm pretty sure it was only a pound, like I'm very very sure it was only a pound. Um, you've got a pen and like a little eraser on the top of here, you've got a magnet down here just in case you want to put a magnet on um, and my room is kind of like a bluey kind of green theme this year, blue, green, grey, bronzy theme. Um, so there was this and a pink one and I was like no, stick to your theme Jess, so I got a green one. Um, yeah, just so it's really nice just to kind of pop up on your desk. Um, there's no, there's like a little, I think it's like a magnet there on the back. Um, so if you had anything that was magnetic, you could pop this on your fridge if you were kind of just wanted it for like grocery lists and stuff. But it's a very good all-rounder thing. For a pound, very, very good and really impressive. Just to pop things that I really need to do for the day, whether that's kind of work and like stuff to do for uni or whether it's kind of YouTube things. Just pop it all on the list and it's just, just really nice and small and not too like overpowering i think some of them are like a huge whiteboard and you write one thing on there like film video like it just looks a bit ridiculous where as this at least it's nice and small um yeah really like that i love going to supermarkets for stationery i always think they're the best places um the next thing i've got a bit of rustling here and there next thing i've got is these which are just 100 um punch pockets 
Uh, they're basically just like the plastic wallets. Um, I have got some folders, which I'll show you in a second. And basically last year, I really struggled with my organisation at uni. I wasn't very good. I think it's because I wasn't really motivated to do the course, as you guys know. Um, so I kind of wasn't, I didn't want to do it as much. I didn't want to make the things all organised. Whereas this year, I'm really feeling really, really positive about it. So last year, I did everything on my MacBook. And I regret that quite a lot. My MacBook actually broke um, kind of two months in and I lost all the work that I'd done from then on um so that was the first thing that didn't go down very well and the second thing as well is that it's not very organized on a macbook if you do it on your like a laptop and then you kind of print them off and put them in plastic wallets or put them in folders then fine I didn't do that I just left it all on my laptop and it didn't really work for me I think it's a lot better having it in folders having it in front of your face so you can see what's going on and just writing out your notes um so that is definitely what I'm going to be doing this year um so I've got all my folders I've got two folders at the moment uh, because I couldn't find any others um, that I liked so we'll be getting those over the next couple of weeks or so um but yeah these um I've got these basically I know I said I'm going to put like the sheets in those um plastic wallets but also I'm not too sure whether I want to put anything in these yet so so they're only like a pound fifty or something so i just thought i'd get some of these and um, just kind of put little documents in or bits and bobs that i need um and i thought it'd be good to have one at the start of every kind of topic if you get what i mean like throughout the the book the um the folder just to put bits and pieces in who knows i don't know but they're only 150 so now the next thing i've got are these and these are the cutest little things they're just little like page markers and there is i don't know what color the bottom one is i think it's like green so you've got like orange yellow pink and green um little page markers they're really 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 cute and i'm gonna pop these in my um pencil case that i'm gonna show you in a second um but yeah really really like this it says four times 50 sheets it says four times 50 sheets um, and they're just really really cute i really like them they're as their own ones because sometimes i just think post-it notes and like things like that you don't really need to buy like proper brand talking about that i've got some proper brand post-it notes here um i like the color of these because they're like fluorescent i just really like them these are just from Asda, these are like the proper ones, um, and it's literally, it's the Rio de Janeiro collection, didn't know they did collections of post-it notes, who knew that eh? Um, you've got bright yellow, um, bright pink and bright orange, so yeah, just got these, um, and yeah, definitely you can use these like crazy. My plan is this year to use them more in textbooks, and actually look at textbooks a bit more than I did last year. Um, use them more in textbooks along with these as well so the combination of these should keep me very organized or i hope so anyway um then i just got this which i really like this this is from b&m so it's just a little organizer and i really want to get my drawers organized really well i'm gonna get a drawer organizer in kind of my top drawer in my desk and kind of have it all organized and really nice and i thought this would be really good for the drawer organizer um obviously i'm not gonna put it in the organizer but you just take the lid off probably gonna keep the lid off in my kind of in my organizer type thing you've got big um paper clips like this you've got these which are really cute really cute they're bulldog clips but they're really cute pastel colors absolutely gorgeous you've got some little like push pin type things that I don't know if i'm gonna need this year because i haven't got notice for but it's still good to have and then some small um paper clips and this all was 99p from b&m so really really nice and in a really nice little container really like this and they're all like pastel colors and really cute so yeah i would definitely rec pick, recommend picking this up um if you do see it one thing i will say this this year um i've been in kind of asda tesco and b&m for stationery i'm pretty sure so far stationery is not my priority right now kind of moving into the uni house and get all this sort of that is more of a priority than stationery for me right now um kind of i will sort that stuff out when i get into the house kind of thing once i know kind of what areas i've got and where i can put things and i really really would like some really nice pen holders I'm tempted to make another h&m home order and order some marble um kind of pen holders to go on the side uh, not too sure yet but i am kind of tempted um yeah just so we could go in like the theme of her room rather than having like bright pink ones that i had last year that are not going to go with the theme at all um but yeah anyway i was just thinking um like all of the actual stationery stuff i'm gonna like kind of wait to get till i get to uni um just kind of things i don't know to go in the drawers i'm not too sure what i mean but yeah like so to go on the desk i'm gonna wait to get to uni for um i really would like a weekly planner thing to go like on top of my desk um i had one of those last year but i didn't really have because my desk was so long in my uni room last year i kind of had so many different spaces that things need to go my desk was on there um my laptop was on there so many things so i didn't really have a proper workspace whereas this year my desk is going to be a workspace and also where i do my makeup but that's fine um but yeah, it's going to be like my workspace so i'm going to be able to kind of put everything and have it completely completely works and have definitely gonna have a weekly planner on that desk. I then have a pencil case. Now in here I've actually popped different pens in here. This is from Asda. This is from fashionstationery.com. 
I don't know how long this brand has been around, but when I was younger, if this brand would have been around, I would have been absolutely loving life. Um, loads of people I knew last year kind of had this brand of pencil cases, and I was like, they're really nice, and I paid quite a lot for mine. I had an Emma Bridgewater one last year, um, and actually, these are really cute. So this one was from Alistair, quite small, quite compact, um, and inside, I'll just show you what I've got. So I've got a bunch of the Paper Mate Ink Joy pens, um, all in different colours. These are my top, top favourite pens to write with. Um, I love these they're very similar to the tesco ballpoint ones that i showed you earlier um but yeah really nice colors in these and got a big pack of those um uh, loads of those in there then the cutest things in the world are you ready for this prepare yourself look how cute these little highlighters are they are so small you literally got like 10 or something in a pack they are literally the cutest things in the world so i've got those all in my little pencil case um really cute really sweet so you know can just whip it out and highlight it's quite a small nib that's my only problem um but i'm sure i will be able to deal with this but yes yeah, so cute loving life um and then in here what else have i got in here oh i've got some more of these oh these are big these are big round stick medium pens i've actually never written with these before but i'm sure they'll be absolutely fine um so got a load of these in here um just some kind of like plain pens rather than kind of like bright colored ones and what else have we got i think we've just got some pencils i've just got some mechanical uh pencils like this um to go in here just because because i'm doing business there's quite a lot of kind of like balance sheets finance things where i need a ruler and kind of like pencils there's also a ruler in here somewhere let's find it This is the ruler in here, uh, really nice and cute. It's from Helix, um, and it's just small. Um, so that fits in there perfectly. Um, I also always, always, always have fine liners. I love fine liners. Um, either the Stadler, or what's the other one? What's the other brand of fine liners? I cannot remember, can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but they have really, really nice fine liners, and I have some from last year, um, and if they're kind of running out, wink, wink, think they are. <laughs> just because i want some new ones um, i'm definitely gonna get some other ones but i love fine liners so i normally keep those in kind of the case they come with and pop those in my bag as well because there's quite a lot of them so normally they don't fit um in like a pencil case just because when i like to write and like when i like to kind of take notes and stuff i like to use many different colors when i just write in one color it really kind of my mind just can't take it in very well whereas if i kind of like put little headings in different colors and write into the normal pen that works best for me um, so yeah, got my pencil case with all the different bits in it, um, and all of those pens that I brought were kind of the pens, new pens that I brought in this stationery haul. Then for pads, I got four of these. These by the brand New Craze, um, and yeah, this is what they look like. They're just stripy on the outside. They're literally just refill pads. Just thinking that basically what I'm thinking that I want to do is actually take my folders in. Sorry, that I keep flicking my hair back. It keeps coming forward. Um, I'm thinking that I want to take my folders into uni with me this year. So every time I have that certain subject, I'm tempted to keep. keep um, to blah, blah 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 to bring my folder in with me um now it might be really heavy i'm not too sure whether i'm gonna do that yet but that's why i've got refill pads to kind of like if i can put them in the actual pads like in the folders and then i could bring the whole thing together if that makes any sense i'm quite fussy over the gsm of my paper this is 80 gsm so it's fine gsm is the thickness of the um paper so normally give it a good feel uh before i go and purchase it um that sounds so stupid but i got four of these all in different colors so i've got this one and then i've got this one which is really pretty and then i've got this one and then i have another one of this color um because they only had three which really disappointed me i was like come on i need four colors give me four colors um so i got those um i normally have a different refill pad uh the paper's amazing blah 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 but they were on offer for two for three pounds so i got those instead um and then the last things that i've got are some folders this is the first one i've got it's got all these little ditzy flowers all over it really 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 cute um really like this it's a lever arch folder um as you can see or maybe not it's got this weird kind of cardboard thing over it but it's a bigger folder than the ring binder folders um i really wanted a big folder um i was talking to my friend christina and she said that she because she used folders last year i said to her how much did you fill up kind of how much like did you need ring binders or leave rush she said i've filled up four leave folders for each subject like 
not a four for each subject, like one for each subject, four of them. Um, anyway, so I was like, okay, I'll get Leave Ratch one. So I've got this one here, which I really, really like. And then I've got this one here with roses, which I prefer, definitely. I really like this. It's lovely. It was actually discounted to two pounds in Tesco. So yeah, if you fancy going and get this, definitely go and get it. Um, and inside it's just got spots all over it. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's got like the Leave Ratch bit in the middle. Uh, but yeah, really like this. I'm definitely going for this kind of theme with my stationery, just like floral and cute. Um, I definitely need, obviously, two more folders um but i haven't done it yet that i really like and obviously it's not desperate i don't start uni for way over a month yet um so yeah that is my stationery haul for you guys i hope you've enjoyed it it's been rather long um yeah I'm i'll probably definitely do another one at some point or i'll do like a little like tour of my desk or something and show you guys kind of my stationery that's a good idea what about desk tour that's quite a good idea i would watch one of those like all the different like storage solutions in your desk I am liking that idea. Let me know if you're liking the idea. Um, I still need things like stapler, hole punch, that kind of stuff. I just think it goes missing. Like, literally, I've obviously moved out of uni. And because I've moved out and then I've come home, I find it really difficult to find things. Like, a lot of the stuff is in boxes in the garage and a lot of stuff's at my dad's warehouse in boxes. And until I get it all out and move back in, I really don't know what I've got. So I'm trying not to buy too much of stuff like this in case I get to uni and be like, oh... I've still got everything that I had the year before, um, if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, try not to buy absolutely the entire world worth of stationery. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of a desk tour. I'm really liking that idea. I can make it look really pretty and give you guys a tour of my desk. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. The button is just down below. Um, just want to let you guys know, I haven't mentioned this, this is the first video on my main channel with me, me with dark hair. Um, if you watch my vlogs, you will already know that I have dark hair. Uh, vlog channel is always linked down below, by the way um but yeah i kind of decided to dye my hair for the winter um as i normally do and dye it dark rather than ombre i did really didn't like it ombre it was looking really streaky um but i have pre-filmed quite a few videos so there is quite a few videos that are still with me with ombre hair uh, so if you're wondering hang on a second two weeks ago she had dark hair and now she's got ombre hair oh and then she's got, got dark hair again it's because they're pre-filmed um so kind of from the start to middle of september you should be back with me just with dark hair videos but for the rest of august please expect a bit of a mixture going on <laughs> as i I said thank you very much for watching guys uh, please subscribe if you haven't already the best news just down below um i will link sydney's video down below and also her channel uh, we are from different ends of the world so her video might not be up at exactly the same time as mine um but i will link it down below when it is up and i will link her channel down below so make sure you go and subscribe to her channel and watch her video uh, it's, it's gonna be really really good i can really tell i'm really really excited to watch it um so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i will speak to you all soon bye